Morning, everyone. So my name is Aritra Chakravarti. I'm here to talk to you about Dozens, which is the first consumer brand offering from Project Imagine. Uh, we'll get to it in a second as to why there are two brands. Uh, I've got six minutes, and we're building a lot of exciting stuff. So if I go too fast, I'm here all day. We can always catch up later. A uh, little bit about me first. So I've done a few years in banking, uh, all in HSBC. Been around the world with them, but also worked in private banking, investment banking, structured a few products. So a lot of what we do at Project Imagine uh, is based on thoughts during that time. Most recently, I set up the Wealth Digital team for HSBC as well. We did a uh, few launches, uh, which if, if you've ever worked in a bank, you know, is not the easiest thing to do. Uh, and academically as well, I'm a little bit more financially inclined in my brain, although I really do like gadgets and buying and opening them up. So most likely, the only thing I could ever do was actually start a startup. Um, there's three questions that we've been asked to go through today. So why another digital bank? Because you would have heard a lot of the guys already speak on the main stage yesterday. So what's different about us? Uh, what have we built so far? So can we actually execute on all the thinking? And what lies ahead? Uh, just very quickly on why another digital bank. Because I sat there on main stage yesterday. Uh, we spoke so much about all the different features. And I'm a customer of all the brands that we consider our competitors. Uh, not once was the word interest rate uttered on main stage yesterday. And a lot of our offering is about putting higher returns back in the uh, pockets of our consumers. Uh, the only time interest rate was uttered actually was with a solution that actually takes your money and puts it back into the old banks. So we're trying to be a new bank that is all about interest rates. Um, there's a couple of stats from our time in banking that stuck out and forms the basis for what we do at Project Imagine, and specifically dozens. So check balance is still the killer app in banking. People check balance five, six times a day, which is why the average is still twice a day. Uh, obviously, they're not looking for money that's come in. They're looking for some budgeting, some spend reassurance. And on the contrary, when you've saved money, you don't actually think investments are for you. Uh, there's some loss aversion that makes you want 0.5% on deposits rather than go for the lowest risk investment product. So both these sort of uh, ironies in the banking system felt enough to start something new. So we've come up with a spender to saver and a, separately a saver to investor journey. Uh, each one of you who would be pretty conversant with what we have in FinTech today would probably have at least five different apps that you need to use for your money needs. And the five different apps, their companies are still struggling for marginal profitability because each of them is based around user attraction rather than the business case in the model. So these are all the things that were just observations. And we tried very hard from the beginning to solve for these and not just get to them when we are big. Uh, one final thing is about the team itself. So we are 80% women. Uh, we are very conscious of it. We are very um, uh, specifically recruiting for people who are not from financial services. So there's four or five of us who know what we're doing and talking to the regulators. But a majority of the team is, just so the brand stays grounded, is very, very uh, different. So if I group that into three things, uh, what's the proposition and why is it different? Um, how, how are we going to make money? And what's the team look like? So any, any resemblance to any known logos is purely coincidental, of course. But we thought if, if we have any of those apps and we got all of that in one place and add a little bit of a cherry on top, which is 5% per annum. Uh, that is a 5. That's not a 0.5. That is a 5% per annum. Uh, can we get a proposition that maybe makes you at least stop and think about whether you've got the right deal? Um, so as I said, spender to saver and saver to investor, wrap it all together in a nice design and actually give you some financial rewards for staying on track with your budget. We tell you how much you can spend tomorrow rather than give you analytics about what you've spent yesterday. So there's a lot of thinking through this whole journey. And we've got proprietary financial products. So we're not afraid of doing financial innovation. It's not just about the, the UX and the tech layer, which is pretty hygiene for most of these offerings right now. So in a sense, I guess we're trying to be more of an Amazon Prime kind of offering, where you deal with us and the products are ours, and it's our brand on the line when you're not happy, and not just be a platform for someone else's products. Uh, in terms of the business model, we only make money when you do, because I just find it fundamentally impossible to, uh, that you'd ever make, you'd ever believe that we'd get you off overdrafts if overdrafts was a revenue line for us. Uh, and because we've figured out how to do the financial structuring, we can actually get a 2 to 4% margin on the savings products while giving you 5%. If you want to know more about that, obviously, we can't get into it right now, but happy to chat to you afterwards. That's the team. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, professionals in there from all over the world. Uh, but 
it's a very atypical team for doing what we're doing in banking. Moving on to what we've built so far, so we've got a 300 person community across segments and from all over the UK and they help us build the oh. app and the brand together. They're obviously also gonna be our first customers and there's a very quick clip oh, here about what they thought about the most app. Most the amount of information I've seen on a banking app. It's unique, I mean I haven't seen many of these types of apps. I said I've used Toshio, which I found was, was, was not up to much, but this, the detail in this, and the information you, you can sort of glean from it is, is, is fantastic. I personally love it. I think it's fun, it's interesting. That saving that you may make might go to buy something that you really want. What I like about uh, a lot of what you do is that you've got a lot of visual. So we've just come to a screen, which has given me a, a visual spend and save very quickly. So I'll show you the app very happily if you're interested afterwards. But in the last five months, we've built all of that, built our own platform got our own licenses. So we are ready now to apply for uh, the banking license. And um, if you've noticed one of these on the I'm going to have to just stop you there, only, only to make it fair and square to absolutely, absolutely everybody. Fine. So cool. six minutes, I'm afraid that, that that time is up. But ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Project Imagine. Well done.